I first got interested in theater when my parents took me. I think that's how most of us get exposed to it. A, a friend or a parent or a loved one takes us to the theater. Um, I went to see national tours of musicals when I was a kid um, and sort of fell in love with the form. And there were also, I grew up in Metro Detroit and uh, went to big touring houses and little intimate resident theaters and fell in love with um, theater across the board. I, I first met Pioneer Theatre Company artistic director Karen Azenberg about 15 years ago when I saw her direct a, a play at Indiana Rep. She was a, a freelance uh, director at that point. She wasn't at Pioneer yet. And I fell in love with the staging that she did. And at, at the time I was writing a musical and I thought she would be a great match for it. She, uh, there was a fluidity to what she did and, and a very passionate quality to what I saw on stage. And I sent her this musical. and. She ended up doing a, a couple of stage readings of it in Ohio and in New York City, and we kept in touch. We'd become friends. In 2009, um, she was directing uh, freelance at Alabama Shakespeare Festival, and I was working on this play called Alabama Story, and I wanted to do a research trip. And I contacted her, and I said, I want to come down there. And she said, I have a two-bedroom apartment. Why don't you use this as your base? And this big research trip I did, I, I barely saw her during this time. During this week I was down there and I went to the state archives and to small towns and I interviewed historians and I would come back and see her in passing and at the end of the week she said, what are you working on? What is this? And I gave her some hints about it and she was really intrigued and she said, when you have this play, send it to me. Four years later, she's an uh, artistic director at Pioneer. I sent it to her in 2013, two years ago this month, and um, she thought there was something there. And, and we began discussions and readings, and um, we read it down in Alabama, and we read it here in Pioneer's inaugural play-by-play -play reading festival. And she knocked me out when she told me that she wanted to um, do a full staging. So that's sort of how, we, um, how this project began. Well, it's, the play is sort of sadly relevant in many ways. Um, the play is very much about freedom of expression and the freedom to read and censorship, and we're dealing with these kinds of issues all over the world now. Locally, in terms of um, people wanting to pull controversial books off library shelves, and of course internationally with, with the um, tragedy happening in Paris recently, um, it's sadly relevant. Um, it's also happened, the play also comes at a time of the 50th anniversary of the Voting Rights Act and the Civil Rights Act, and we do touch on that a little bit. The play isn't meant to be a message play. Um, I wrote it as a big, um, colorful, broad strokes uh, play that includes romance and comedy and a sense of courtroom thriller and a memory play. I wanted to draw on all of these different forms to, to create this play, and hopefully people go home with different messages and different ideas. I don't write toward theme, I write toward character and plot and action.